Freddy Carrioglu has been one of the most talked about players in Europe in the last couple of months. Fernabache's number 7 has got a lot of eyes for his versatility and typically when you talk about versatility you mean a left back that can play right back or a left winger that can play right wing. Carrioglu can do both of those things and much more. Throughout his professional career he has played in a total of 10 different positions but since 2022 he's landed on left back as his best position and clubs like Man United and Brighton like him so much that they've considered signing him this summer. This is Player Profile, a new series I'm going to be starting every single Wednesday. It's quite funny the first episode was late but anyway. Anyway, I'm going to be looking at a different player every single week, starting with Kadioglu. So if you don't want to miss the episode, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on and leave a like on the video. And let's get into it. What's interesting about his time at Nijnegen, in the two seasons that he was a regular starter, not once did he play as a defender, not left back, not right back, or a centre back. Predominantly in his time, he was played as an attacking midfielder. In his first season in the Eredivisie, he got four goals and four assists. Nijnegen were relegated. In his second season, albeit a much easier league, he got eight goals and 13 assists in all competitions. Such a brilliant season from an 18 year old got a lot of interest from some big clubs, one of those being Fernabache, who would sign him for 1.5 million euros in July of 2018. In Kadioglu's first season at Fernabache, he was wasn't really involved with the senior team and more or less played with the youth team but his second season the 1920 he was mainly played on the wing and stayed like that till the 21-22 season where he was predominantly played as a left back as a fullback he really impressed Fernabacha it seemed like that was his best position the following season he would predominantly play as a right back and the season that's just gone by 23-24 he almost exclusively played as a left back so we've briefly gone through Kerioglu's career and we've landed on left back being his best position which is really surprising because he's a unique left back in the sense that he's a right footed player and you'll see in the animation now a typical left back would be left footed and would be able to open their body and play a simple pass out to the left winger. Kadioglu has a unique advantage of being able to take it on his predominant foot and dribble into the centre. He's utilised this time and time again in his career where he's able to then create space for other wingers and play off a pass to either the right winger or the left winger. On his right he's definitely stronger but his left isn't necessarily weaker. He's still capable of playing those first time passes if he wanted to play it out to the winger. He's capable of putting in first time crosses when he's down the touchline. His left isn't a disadvantage and actually brings a unique ability to him that he's unpredictable. When you compare Kadioglu with other fullbacks across Europe when it comes to stats on the ball, he's up there with basically everything. In the top 1% for passes attempted, progressive passes, progressive carries, and the top 2% for successful take-ons. And then his other stats maybe not quite as good, but still up there. There's nothing that lets him down. Some of his biggest strengths overall are definitely his passing, his dribbling, his crossing. They're all great, but in some ways that's to be expected as for most of his career he was considered an attacking midfielder or a winger. His natural attacking abilities affect his defensive intelligence, and that isn't always a bad thing, but he's someone that's very easy eager to win the ball and that sometimes might come at all costs. You'll see in the animation here when a winger has the ball he will push up, he'll dive in, he'll either foul the player or the winger will get away. Kerioglu will have left loads of space in behind him where another player can come in, receive the ball and then create a chance for the opposition. Here are two actual examples of him doing it in real life while it's not like for like for the situation I described is very similar where he shows a lot of eagerness to go win the ball and that can sometimes be exploited when he doesn't actually do it. Now it's not like he's getting exploited every single time, he might win the ball back occasionally, maybe commit a foul the team might not be able to beat him and pass it backwards but if he were to come up against a team like Manchester City that could definitely be exploited because they'll drag him out play a quick couple of passes and then they have loads of space down the wing but that's definitely something a top coach could remove from his game make him not dive in as much be a little bit more hesitant if a team were to sign him they definitely have to be a team that's going to be having the majority of the ball because that's where you're getting the best out of Kadioglu he's going to be providing his attacking attributes his brilliant abilities on the ball they're also going to want to be a team that's maybe playing 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1 a formation where a defensive midfielder could potentially provide cover or support which doesn't leave Kadioglu defending big spaces he's a better defender when it comes to defending small spaces in terms of his development if he were to move to a club like Brighton they have a great track record that would obviously be great for him he would only improve but I think staying at Fernabache could also help they're going to be in contention for the Turkish league this season and Kadioglu would definitely help their fight and also Jose Mourinho has just arrived if you want to improve your defensive abilities that's the man you want to learn from of course there is always the chance with Mourinho that he just completely ruins a player so there is that risk but hopefully not because he is a very good player and I hope you learn that during this video because that was the very first player profile if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new let me know if i missed any weaknesses any strengths i do appreciate you watching till this point in the video thank you all so much i'll see you in the next one